What companies hire young teens? Nearly all jobs start hiring at the age of 16. This summer, for our documentary, we partnered up with several organizations to learn about how they connect youth to employment. Up next is our partner with this documentary, Cookie Cart. Cookie Cart is a nonprofit that employs youth while selling cookies. They employ youth that are passionate about getting job experience and they help them develop good work ethic. Cookie Cart is a nonprofit bakery. We hire teens 15 to 18 years old to make awesome cookies, but also learn life leadership and employability skills. Cookie Cart started by a woman named Sister Jean. She really just had a vision for creating safe space in her house and used her house to um, invite the community and learn from her neighbors. And through that learning, found out cookies are an awesome thing to teach people. So many of the people who started Cookie Cart are um, under the age of employability laws. There's eight, nine, ten-year-olds informing Sister Jean of how to sell cookies and how to create a vision. Cookie Cart helps teens make brighter futures by starting work. I think a lot of our crew uses Cookie Cart as their very first job, and so some of it is social skills of teaching you how to talk to your manager, how to ask for time off, how to balance a schedule. And I know a lot of people, when they want to start working, need the financial support of what work involves, but doesn't always balance the social end and Cookie Cart teaches people how to start a job, create a solid first impression, practice customer service skills, and then get some feedback along the way by both managers and co-workers. My name is Saeed and I work at Cookie Cart. So my name is Kizaya and we actually do a lot here. We scoop, we do customer service, we clean, we um, press the cookies, we put sugar on them. We do, we do a lot. I first heard of Cookie Cut from my friend uh, who worked at, who went to the same school as me, Edison High School. And he told me about this uh, opportunity and I applied. So before, I didn't know how, like, how to save my money or I didn't know like, how to set up a savings account or like, I didn't even know how to do customer service. The impact Cookie Cut had on me was it changed my life. Uh, I was new to the state, new to the country in general, and I came, I worked at Cookie Cut and felt like I, was, I belonged to a community. Some skills I've learned at Cookie Cut was uh, communication skills. I wasn't much of a communicator before I started working here, so I communicated with my friends. I uh, also learned uh, organization skills, how to be organized, also time management skills, how to manage my time. I want to either be an RN or like own my own business. Something I want to do later on in my life is uh, to go to college, uh, study chemical engineering and impact the world, how Cookie Cut impacted me. Green Garden Bakery is a youth-led business selling vegetable-based desserts in North Minneapolis. We spoke with some of their youth and staff members about their experiences there and how it's an opportunity for youth to own a business. Green Garden Bakery is a youth-run business, um, so we grow our vegetables in our community garden, we bake them into healthy vegetable-based desserts, and then we market them using sustainable practices. One of our friends, Amaria, got into a really bad car accident, so we wanted a way to um, pay for her medical bills. So we baked um, a green tomato cake, which was our first product, and then we sold it, and we thought we were gonna make, we made three times as much as we thought we were gonna make, so that's how it started. Um, Green Garden Bakery is youth led because literally the youth does everything in it. We take care of the money, we bake, and we also sell. Green Garden Bakery makes a difference in the community by involving the youth, but also inspiring the youth to do more in the community. Inspire people to do things as recycle, eat healthier, be active, and do other things that's positive for the community. For example, there was a string of robberies in the neighborhood and we bought all the family security systems and another one would be we bought Thanksgiving dinners for families in need. I feel it's important for young people to start their own business because it gives you a lot of experience early and 
you actually break stereotypes because a lot of people don't think that you'll be able to do it at a young age, but you actually can because anything's possible. This is Right Track. Right Track is a program that helps to employ youth in the city of St. Paul. With Right Track, many young adults are connected with training, work, and career exploration. Right Track gives an opportunity to provide summer jobs to St. Paul's youth to thrive in the workforce so they are better prepared for future jobs. We recently interviewed the YJ2 job coach, Kurt Nu, to better inform us about the program. My name is Kurt New, and in the summer, I am a job coach for the Right Track YJ02 program. Right Track is a job training program for teenagers in the city of St. Paul. We hope to uh, create an environment where a much higher percentage of youth in St. Paul are successful. So basically, all the skills that we teach are around what we call professional job skills. So we teach things around computer skills like Word. Uh, Excel, PowerPoint, how to send professional emails, uh, but we also teach uh, soft skills, um, how to make small talk in the workplace, uh, how to work together as a team. For the YJ02 program, we have trainings once a week for two hours uh, that give kids the choice to choose between different classes that focus on different professional job skills. Uh, you might think you want to be in the health field, but you know, after you are working in an internship for a summer, maybe that changes your opinion. Or maybe you learn about a new career in the health field that you wouldn't even thought about. How does giving young people jobs help the community as a whole? Well, first of all, it, it gives them something positive to do with their time. Um, one of the biggest ways to avoid having youth fall into negative risk factors is to give them positive risk factors to do instead. It also helps the community in, in developing young, professional, skilled people. Uh, the more people you can have like that in the community, no matter what age they are, the better and stronger that's going to make the community. Here is a success story about Kalik Rogers. He started off as a YWCA intern helping and teaching kids 8 through 15 years old. We will learn more about his journey after his youth employment experience. I'm a man of many hats. Um, I'm an Apple technician. I'm also a student. I go to college. I'm at Metro State right now. I'm also a host, a public speaker, and, you know, just me. That's my best job. <laughs> um, with Right Track, I had a couple of different job opportunities. It was really awesome, especially growing up, you know, not really seeing as many opportunities out there. So once I got connected with Right Track, I was able to really, you know, touch base with different types of skill sets. The first one I initially got, I believe that one was me working at the YWCA. I was working with uh, youth. And uh, which was cool because I was a kid at the time, I was like 15, 16, and I'm working with like uh, eight through 12 year olds. So it was kind of fun. I learned at that time that I needed to learn a lot of patience because they were, yeah, they were kind of <laughs> on the next level. But the next job I had that I wanted to try out was construction. That was a lot of hard work. If you think like, man, I got a heck of a tan. I was probably the color of this band right here when I, <laughs> I was outside that day. It was really fun. I learned a lot of new skill sets. I would have to say that I would prefer being the boss of it all. So that's why I went to college. It just helped me know what I liked and didn't like. You know, you don't really know what you're into until you give it a try. Just go for it. For some, if not all of us who made this documentary, this summer position was our first real job. Throughout this process, we learned that youth employment is important. It gives young people a chance to develop skills, prepare for the future, and it gives them something positive to do with their time. If you are a young person looking for a job, there are a number of youth employment programs out there that you should take advantage of. Another thing we've learned this summer are that there are youth entrepreneurs out there who are starting their own businesses. So. If you have an idea, don't be afraid to go for it just because you're young. We hope you've enjoyed this documentary, and thanks to Cookie Cart and all of our partners for teaching us about youth employment and entrepreneurship.